vegan cyclist talking about can music make you stronger can it make you faster can it make you perform better this is the third installment of marginal gains trying to figure out can you make yourself really good by having a series of marginal gains and music is absolutely one of those ones that's it's not going to cost you any extra money really you know have a good set of headphones put on pandora and ride now in this video we are not talking about the safety concerns of riding with headphones i ride with headphones all the time i live in the mountains there's never any cars if you live in the city whatever use your own discretion on if that is a thing or not but still on the trainer would you listen to music could it help you so the first two of these videos i just did the the science kind of by myself which is questionable this one i was a part of a legit study i actually got paid to be a part of a scientific study it was a while ago though three years ago i did the study three years ago and i just ne i just haven't really got around to making the video the data kind of took a long time to get published and be official but i've crunched the numbers and i'm here to show you how this study went down now it was a legit study like i said so there were maybe 13 different participants and how the study worked is that she used a power tap wheel Okay, it was the same wheel for everybody, but it was all very controlled. Three trials, randomly assigned, preferred music, like the music you chose, non-preferred music, the music you did not choose, which was horrible music, and then no music. So some people had the order go, good music, bad music, no music. Some people did no music, bad music, good music. It was all kind of, you know, randomized in, in which one you chose to do first, second, or third. She spaced these out. I believe you did a 20 minute effort, but no, you had no metrics. You couldn't see power, you couldn't see time, you couldn't see pace. It was just you and a bike on a stationary trainer with a fan and you're staring at a wall. So the only real intervention was music. You know, which one would help you pace better or not pace better? Would you get more motivated if you were listening to the music you chose versus the music that was chosen for you. I found it very difficult to ride a 20 minute, basically all out effort. It was like your, your best 20 minute effort without knowing where I was in that 20 minutes, what I was doing, how I was doing it. I'm a, I'm a very like data driven person. And, and so that was a, a, a chore for me. The way I got it was I did my music. I chose my music first and I did that one. Then I did non-preferred music, like the one she chose, and then I had no music. That was my, my trial for this. My music was dope. The music she chose was not dope. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? And then the no music was uh, just me breathing. So let's break down the numbers that I got from my trial. And again, there was, uh, I believe 13 other participants, but maybe three of them didn't finish or had, uh, they were dropped from the study. So that I think there's 10 actual participants and they all ranged from, you know, female or male, uh, elite athlete to basic athlete. So it, you know, it kind of ranged on, on power and don't yell at me about these power numbers because it was three years ago and I wasn't on form, wasn't feeling good. Don't yell at me. So the power intervals were broken up into five minute sections. Okay, so the first five minutes of my preferred music, the music I wanted to listen to, I did 295. Uh, that was for my first five minutes. And then I did 252 for the next five, 257, and then 318. So first five minutes and last five minutes, I actually did above my average power averaging at about 280 watts my random music the music that was so horrible it was offbeat it was it was ugh. i couldn't like i was still i wasn't focused on writing i was more focused on how horrible this music was um so the first five minutes 221 really low 234 282 and 297 which averaged me 258 a significant difference from the the power that I had done on the preferred music but I think it really had to do with the first like five to ten minutes I just wasn't I was like thrown off by this horrible music and then I sort of kind of like drained it out and got back into the rhythm no music I did 219 
257, 241, 301, which got me a, a 254 average. So no music was my worst average for 20 minutes. Preferred music was my best by a significant amount. Um, you can see my heart rate uh, really kind of shows that with the preferred music, I had a higher max heart rate and a higher average heart rate. So maybe I was just feeling the jams, man. I was just feeling good and, and it helped me motiv help motivate me. Now with a power meter uh, or other metrics, I, I don't think music is gonna be as important because you, you have something else to look at. But if you have nothing else to think about other than just suffering, like with no music, all I can do is hear me breathing and know that this sucks. So with the music I like, I can kind of get ported into this. I kind of think about me in like a cool movie. While I'm riding, right? So for me, preferred music, the music I chose, was a significant improvement on the other two. But that's not what everyone showed. So the other nine trials were not the case. And just kind of give you an idea of the next guy, and these are, they didn't tell me who this was, but I think this was Tony, because his power's really big. The next guy, here's his numbers, okay? And his best, his average though, were all pretty similar. 370, 376, 364. No music being his worst, and random music being his best. But not really a huge difference, I guess. There is a big difference between no music and music in general. Here's another one, again, I, I Maybe a female or a male, I'm not sure. Uh, but they did 272, 259, 266. So uh, random music was their worst and preferred music was their best. And again here you can see what's like the five minute increments, that what's in green is what is higher than their average. So you can kind of see how they paced it. I think a lot of people kind of pushed more towards the last five minutes. And now that I'm thinking about it, I want to say she might have had a sign that said, like, you're going to be done in five minutes. I, I want to say that's actually the case. I think she told you at 15 minutes, hey, you've got five minutes left to go. So I think that kind of explains Tony's humongous 327, 314, 305, 536. Like, such a dramatic difference in power. Man, science is hard, right? But, uh... She concluded that there's not enough statistical variance to, to definitively say one thing or another. But, four people had their best effort with preferred music. Four people had their best effort with non-preferred music. So, just even across the board there. But only two people had their best effort with no music. So, 442. Which shows to me... That music you like or music you don't like, that it's just music that is helping you escape from this torture fest of which is you trying to put out a lot of power. And to strengthen that, three people had their worst performance, three out of ten, had their worst performance with preferred music, two people with non-preferred music, and five out of ten with no music. So five out of ten people had their worst performance with no music and two people had their best performance with no music. So, again, obviously you would need way more trials. Like, I would need to do this multiple times, maybe m more, uh, more subjects, okay? But this was a legitimate scientific study. Everything's gonna be linked down so you can dive through the data yourself. I think that it's pretty easy to say music is going to help you perform better. Now this might not absolutely translate into watt for watt for watt, but when I am on the trainer and I do not want to ride another hour, if a good song comes on, I'm gonna start man, I feel good, uh -huh. yep. And then that kind of just like, even two minutes of listening to that song could just get me over that little hump of, of me just not wanting to go more. Personally, for me, I listen to podcasts all the time. I love podcasts. And so on a big two or three hour ride, I'll throw on Joe Rogan or 99% Invisible or Radio Lab, and I'll just listen to them and kind of pulls me out of the, the grind that I am doing on the bike. 
if I'm doing hardcore intervals, I really like upbeat music, uh, but for the most part, it kind of just drowns out because I'm just going so hard. This isn't sponsored by 66 Audio in any way, shape, or form, but this is the headphones I use. They're wireless and they fit so good. I freaking love them. If you're looking for wireless headphones, because dude, wired headphones are whack as jack. I did a full review on these. Um, I use them almost every time I ride. There's very few times that I will ever ride without these. I love them. And now that I've seen that more people are getting their best effort off music, or music they like or music they don't like, whatever. If a song comes on and you hate it, don't skip. It might still help you perform. Anyway, to sum it up, can music help you increase your performance? Music can help increase your performance. If all the things are stripped away, power, heart rate, time, distance, speed, if you're not looking at any of that stuff, you have nothing to gauge your effort, music you like or music you don't like, just music in your head, on average, will help you perform better. As always, Vegan Cyclist. Yeah. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal.